Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your very own NAS or network attached storage very easily and for free. Now you're still going to need a couple of things um, but these are things that generally anyone who has a computer or uses a computer in their home is going to have anyway. So the first and most important thing is you're going to need a router that supports USB sharing. Now I've opened a web page for a fairly low-end TP-Link router as we can see on the back we've got a USB port and in the description as well we can see we've got USB port for storage sharing, FTP server etc etc. Um, now note this is only a USB 2.0 port but some of the higher end routers will actually have USB 3.0 ports possibly more than one um, and that just like if you had a USB 3.0 port in your computer that you plugged the drive into it's going to allow for faster sharing, uh, faster reading and writing sorry. Um, now one thing to take um, note of is that um, different routers will vary in what kind of capacity drives they support plugged into the back, um, so that's going to be something that you need to check as well. That leads on to the next thing you're going to need, and that is a USB flash drive or USB external hard drive. Again, this is something that pretty much everyone has lying around in their home. And again, you're going to want to make sure that the capacity of this drive doesn't exceed the maximum supported capacity of your router, otherwise there's a good chance that it's not going to work. So once you've confirmed and you have those two devices ready, you're going to want to hop into your router configuration page or your gateway configuration page. Now for me and a lot of other people, the address to get to this is going to be 192.168.11. However, if you're not sure what your gateway IP is, you can open up command prompt and you can type in rpconfig and you hit enter and then you're going to want to scroll to, to uh, your network adapter that you're currently using, this is mine here and we'll see, you'll see your de default gateway as we can see that's mine 192.168.1.1 and so if you search that IP address in your, uh, in your preferred browser in the browser window um, it'll bring you to your router config page so once you've signed into your router, you're going to want to navigate to the page that deals with the USB or the file sharing um, settings. Now this may be called slightly different on different routers, but as long as you look for um, some of the descriptions that has the same kind of terminology, such as USB or sharing or server, etc., you should be able to find it fairly easily. Um, on Asus routers, it's under the page USB application. Um, as we can see, we've got a few different options to choose from. You're going to want to choose the option um, that talks about a file server or a network place or Samba because we're going to be setting up a Samba server. That's the name of the service we're setting up. So we're going to click on that. And once we're inside here, we're going to navigate to the right section. As we can see, we've got all our options for setting up this server now. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your USB device is plugged in and being picked up. For me, I can see down the bottom here that it's got my external drive, being, my external hard drive being picked up. Um, different routers, again, will have different sections where it will show that. It may be back on your home page or it may be here. So you want to make sure that it's connected. If you're having trouble with it showing up, you may need to reboot your router um, to get it to load up the USB. So once you've got that and that's showing up, we're going to go through and set up all of our settings here. There's not really anything that you're going to need to change from stock. Um, this particular router lets me change how many people can be connecting to it at once. Um, and we've got a couple other settings, what kind of work group we want to have it in, etc, um, etc. Et uh, as I said, for the most part, you're not going to need to touch any of this, unless for some specific reason you want to change one of these options. So once you've done that and you're happy with the settings, you're going to want to click Apply. And your router may need a bit of time, or even possibly to reboot, to apply these settings. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is uh, enable SMB on your computer. Um, this is the service that allows us to connect, uh, connect to and read and write um, to this network storage. So to do this we're going to open up control panel and inside control panel we're going to hit uninstall a program and in the top left we hit turn windows features on or off. Now if you've seen some of the previous videos uh, we've used this specific box before um, so you may be familiar with it, we're going to scroll down to where it says SMB 1.0 slash CIFS file sharing support and we're going to tick that um, and make sure that these boxes are all ticked too. Once you've done that you're going to hit OK and it's going to start applying it 
it will probably take a minute or two and your computer will need to reboot um, to finish it off. So once you've done that, we can go back to this PC or my computer, whatever you call it, where you see all of your hard drives. And we're going to right click and hit add a network location. Once inside here, we're going to have the network location wizard open. You're going to hit next. You're going to hit next on choose a custom network location. And now we can click on the browse button. Now, if for some reason SMB didn't enable um, properly or something's wrong with it, you're not going to get any devices showing up under the ne under network. Um, so if you're seeing your router or other computers showing up under the network, that means it's all good to go. So it's most likely going to be the name of your router or the model of your router. That is mine. So I'm going to click on that. And as we can see, it's loading all these folders that I have on that external drive. So the master folder or the main folder is shared media. As we can see, I've got all my media inside there. So we're going to click on that. It's going to paste in the network address for that uh, drive. We're going to hit next and now we can name it. Uh, I'm just going to name mine shared media. You can name yours whatever you want. You can name it 123. It's not going to make a difference at all. So we're going to hit next. We're going to hit finish. And there we go. So as we can see now, that's been added as a network location. And if we double click on that, it's loaded up all of my folders with my stuff. Um, now we'll do a quick test to see how fast it transfers. This is plugged into a USB 3.0 port. And this is a one gigabyte um, video test file. As we can see, we're getting about 40 megabytes a second, which is pretty decent. Um, if you're copying a movie or TV series or something like that, even a higher, maybe a Blu-ray copy or something like that, it's going to take a couple of minutes. Um, but it's not too bad. It's certainly faster than um, cloud storage. If you're using a USB 2.0 port, again, that's going to be a bit slower. Um, but USB 2.0, you're still going to get decent dish speeds. You're still going to be able to copy files across, although they'll take a bit longer. Um, and in terms of streaming video or watching videos from the shared drive, that's what I use it for. And I found it's been working really well. USB 3.0 really helps um, to be able to quickly access and buffer movies and videos and that kind of thing. Again, if you're using USB 2.0, you may notice a little bit more time buffering and loading up the movies and loading up the folders. Um, and again, if and also as well, if you're using Wi-Fi rather than a wired connection, you may notice the same. So that's it for today's video, everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time.